and we did them for the troops, because you know, they, there were no girls and they had a bit of laughter with us. So you were acting for the troops? <laughs> so I used to, the first one I did was While Parents Sleep, I think it was called, but she takes, she's flirting with some young man, takes off her dress, her fur coat uh, and dress, and is left in her cami knickers. <laughs> Is that what you did? Yes. <laughs> and the whole place came to a grinding halt. <laughs> the CO's feet were on the seat, roaring with laughter. When I got back to my dressing room, it, there was a card there saying, so enjoyed it, please can you come and have dinner with me? It was an officer. Now, I could no more go and have dinner with an officer. I wouldn't be allowed to. Wasn't even allowed to know him. Sort of said. And, uh, but we got, <laughs> without telling anybody, we got to know each other. <laughs> by, <laughs> and then the fact, I saved his life. Because what extraordinary thing happened, we got a secret date. And he was, he got a car, so he was going to meet me in these woods. And I went there. And he never came. I was so furious. I got to be on watch at whatever time in the evening it was. So I had to go rushing back. And I rang up where he was. And he answered the phone, much to my surprise, as officers don't do that. Yeah. And I said, you weren't there. I told him just what I thought of him. And he said, I'm sorry. I've got the CO and his wife, dog, and I've had lunch with them. I'm going off the, taking some bomber up because the CO was used to those. And I'm going with them. So I said, well, I'm going to work. That was that. And he, I went, went back to the ops room. I was told to go on ops A, went on ops A. And about five minutes, the, the, the controller said, ignore that plane. That big thing is taking off. Nothing to do with us. They're just playing games. We, concentrate on the fighters. And then the phone rang. I picked it up. Oh, that aeroplane, so and so, this bomber, uh, just crash landed. Everybody did on board. CO, CO's wife. Uh, and I waited for Brookie's name to come out. It never did. And the next thing I knew, the ops room was about five miles from the, um, well, around the aer aerodrome. The next thing I knew, he was walking around the ops room to show me that he was still alive. You rang just as I passed that uh, counter, and I was duty stooge, and I had to go up through the door. So I picked up the phone, not thinking, and said, Officer's mess, who is it? You know, the usual thing. And it was me telling him off for not being on her date. <laughs> <laughs> and so he put the phone down eventually, went out of the door and they'd all gone off to the airport. And there was he and he thought, oh, I'll take my car and go with them. Oh, I can't be bothered. Not going. And he never <laughs> went. That's and he amazing. went back in just sheer chance. So but that's why I saved his life for him. <laughs>